and Maddie, and we're traveling on $60 a day as a couple. In our last video, we traveled from Istanbul to Pamukkale with a little food poisoning on the way. Today, we're exploring the magical Pamukkale pools, or at least that's what social media makes you believe. Good morning from a much cheery. <laughs> Good morning from a much cheerier and happier Kyle and Maddie. Oh yeah. <laughs> We feel so much better this morning, and we are actually walking to the Pem and Kelly pools right now. It's about a 10 minute walk, I think, from our place. It's really pretty here this morning. There's hot air balloons flying everywhere, and our hotel served us a really good traditional Turkish breakfast, so. It did. We're free. We're excited. It's included. Yeah. So we just got into the Pamukkale pool area mm -hmm. and it was 200 lira a person to get in. So that was way more expensive than I thought. I feel like I've never seen someone like tell what the price was of it. That was expensive. <laughs> yeah, but it's something we're going to do. We stayed here specifically to go to the pools. Right. So we're doing it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to spend our time here to make it worth it. Yep. So the water is actually pretty cold at the bottom of the pools, but supposedly as you go up towards the top, it gets a lot warmer. So we're making our way up towards the top because this water is too cold for us down here. It's pretty cool. It's really pretty up here. The water is slowly getting warmer. It's really cold on the feet though, the pools that have just been sitting with no water coming in for a while. Um, there's a security guard here too that is pretty strict on where you walk. So we got yelled at for walking up to a, like a higher pool. I don't know, I guess there's no signs anywhere so you just walk and wait for her to yell at you. <laughs> so it's about 8.15 right now and there really aren't that many people here. There's maybe like 15 of us on the pools alone so that's kind of cool that we it's almost like you have it to yourself. Everyone kind of has their own little pool that they're hanging out at, so it's pretty cool. Oh my god, it's so hot. The higher you get up, it gets so hot. It like burns your feet because your feet are so cold. Oh, it feels so much better than the cold. So obviously this place is super, super beautiful and actually one of the reasons why it's white is because the calcium from this like thermal water is running over it and it's what kind of deposits the calcium onto it and makes it white. Uh, but with that being said, the water constantly running over it makes these like little grooves in it and it seriously like tears up your feet. Like yeah like my feet aren't used to this and they're they're hurting after walking on it for like 45 minutes. Yeah like they hurt like pretty bad and even like walking in the pools it's like super sharp rocks and stuff so another thing too is there's not as many pools as the internet makes it seem but it is still extremely beautiful whether or not there are a lot of pools or not it's still beautiful but that is something that you should probably know before you come is like it's not what instagram makes it seem like it is yeah but nonetheless, it's still yeah, so it's still beautiful. really pretty. Okay, so our big camera died and we apparently don't have another battery for it. So we're going to use our little camera. So sorry if it's a little bit shaky, but after you come off the pools, there are like ruins up here and they're actually really pretty. Right now there's a ton of like tour groups going through them. Um, we don't know a ton of information about them, but they're really pretty. And 
you can actually see at the top too how there are pools that maybe like used to be filled and they're definitely way more plentiful at the top than they were like down at the bottom where we were so that's another interesting thing too and so we exited like the park area I guess and I think we took the wrong exit because now it looks like we have a 38 minute walk that's on a road. We didn't want to walk back down on the pools because it hurt our feet so I guess now we're having a 38 minute walk. Walking along this road right now we can look back onto the pools and there are so many people there like like hundreds of people on the pools when we first got there there were only like i said like 15 or so like it's seriously crazy and it's only like 10 30 so i can't even imagine how busy it would get by like noon or one like it's insane so if you plan on coming to like the pamukkale area um so we're staying right in the little town of Pamukkale. A lot of people do come from like Denizli in the mornings, but I would recommend going in through the middle gate, I believe. It's kind of at the bottom of the hill. It's one that we just walked from our hotel to. Yeah. But honestly, at the bottom of the Pamukkale pools is like the best view that you get. Yeah. And then it doesn't like it looks much more like natural down there almost like yeah because you can tell that everyone comes together and like gathers at the top so i think it's a lot more touched up there than it is down at the bottom and they also like divert the water like themselves so yeah. like they kind of choose what pools are going to be filled and i don't know what decisions like how they decide that but i think it could be like different like um, supplies of water different times of year and stuff yeah I think they gotta divert a little bit to keep it like, pretty because I, I would guess that just like the natural flow of things sometimes some would be more filled than others yeah I don't know either way it's still pretty to go to but it, it even is. even a local yesterday told us one day is enough in Pamukkale so yeah and we can see why we only spent like two hours at the pools and now we're going to hang out at the pool at our Airbnb. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to try to relax a little bit today. Catch back up on energy. Hopefully tomorrow will be 100%. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 